Hello, welcome to YVU Academy for another session of our Java course. In this session, the topic for discussion is the constructors, type of construct, type of constructors, getters and setters of private attributes of a class. So let's start. So for example, uh, you guys can see on the screen that there is a class called person class having two attributes. First is the string type, the name attribute. Second one is the integer type or int type and it is, it is the age and both attributes are private. So a question is here that this is, the, this is the main function. When I will declare the person object in this main function, let's say person p to two, two, two person. Okay. So what is the name and age values of this p object? This is the question here. So to answer this question, there's a concept called the constructors of public class. So what is a constructor? Constructor are the public functions of a class that initialize the values of attribute at the initialization of the object of the class in the main function. So there are actually two types of the uh, constructors. First one is the default constructor. Second one is the parameterized constructor. So let's discuss them one by one, one by one. So first one is the default constructor. Okay. <clears throat> so as I said, it is a public function with the uh, class name person then no attributes and here we initialize the value of name and string um, any anything we can we can initialize the values uh, any values so let's say this dot name is equal to f and this dot h is equal to let's say uh 25 okay so now this is the person object p in the uh, main function so now when i will execute this code and this object will declare or initialize in the main function so it uses this para sorry in the default constructor so the name of uh, the p object is will be set and the age of the p object will be the 25 okay let's move towards the parameterized constructor okay so it will be the same the public function person and then the attributes spring name and age so the, now the attributes of the uh, person class will be initialized with these past parameters name should be name this dot age should be age okay so let's use this function or use this parameterized constructor in the main. Okay, so let me make another object person p1 is equal to new person, let's say seven, age will be 40. So, when this p1 object will be initialized in the main, it will call the uh, this person parameterized constructor automatically. So, there should be always constructors in the class that initialize the object at the type of declaration. So, what is mean by the uh, initialization of the object? So, obviously, the initialization of the ob object is purely mean that to initialize or to assign some values to the 
attributes of the class so let's test these uh, um, uh, functions so or cancel constructors let me make a function called print function for the person class so let's say um, public void print person so let's out mm, this dot name Let's call the pen function for the uh, P object. P dot print person. Let me run this code. Okay, self and uh, 25 is there because there is no uh, end L here. So let me uh, in the end L. Mm, let's say this one. And let me just copy this here. So just to make the output uh, clear so let's run this again no self and 25 so simple is that when i will pass the parameters at the time of initialization of an object it will call the parameterized constructor uh, otherwise uh, if no parameters then default constructor let's check e1 dot print person Okay, so it is Demi 940 and Demi 940 should be print. So look guys, Demi 940 for P1 and for P object, self and 25. Okay, so let's move toward the getters and setters. Okay, what is getter? So because these attributes are just um, private attributes it means they are inaccessible outside the class so we'll use some intermediate function or simply we'll use the uh, public method of the person class to access the um, the attribute so here the question is how that attribute uh, can be accessible through the public method of the person class so look guys because uh, every a uh, function or every method or every attribute in the class is inaccessible by other attribute sorry is accessible by the other uh, attribute or other method so let's let me make the getters and setters for both this so they will be public and then the data type so for getters the data type should be same as the data type of the attribute for example if i want to make the getter for the uh, age so i will uh, uh, i will take the return type int get h no parameter just return this dot um h okay same for the get name return this dot name okay so uh, let's move to the setters so setter means if getters mean to read value or to get the value so setter simply means to write value or to set the value of attribute so they will also be the public function and data type Oh, sorry return type will be the void and 
set name will pass the parameter and we'll simply set the attribute in the same way the setter of the h h okay so let's check this so if i'll simply do this p dot print person so it will print f and 25 let's check it once again okay 725 now let me set the age of saf to 20 p dot set h 20 now let me again print the person same person but after setting the age oh look the age is 20 now so this this is how setters work and getters in the same way for example string n is equal to p dot get name let me uh, print the string here um let me just okay so i'm just commenting the print uh, print person so that we can understand the output more accurately with just a one statement print statement which is uh, we are printing the n and what is n n is containing the uh, data that is returned by the get name function of p so it's a so that was uh, the today's topic and just a, a quick recap that we today we discussed the uh, constructors there are two types of constructors parameterized and default constructor one will pass parameter at the time of initialization of the object parameter is constructor called automatically otherwise the default constructor called automatically and there are getters and setters what are getters and setters getters are used to read uh, or get the value of the attributes of an object of class and in the same way setters are used to write or set the values of the attributes of a class so that was all uh, for this session see you in the next session